Fox 5 Health News and New Hope for fighting superbugs. Researchers say that a breast cancer drug could actually be a powerful weapon against MRSA. All right, joining us now, Dr. Debbie Nepia Parapol from the NYU School of Medicine. I think I nailed your name there. Or you not. did. Who knows? That was perfect. <laughs> All right, so, but this, this shows you the issue we have right now with the lack of effectiveness of antibiotics that we're talking about chemotherapy as a potential way to deal with MRSA. It's a very innovative way of kind of going about this. Mm -hmm. I mean, the problem with superbugs, there are a couple problems. So first of all, it's not that they're invincible, but what it is is they figured out ways to adapt to some of our most powerful drugs. So MRSA, for example, can fight against methicillin, which is one of our strongest antibiotics right. in the arsenal. Now, weaker drugs can still defeat it, and sometimes you can use combinations of drugs, but the problem is there's eventually going to be a point where, you know, if we're not able to produce new antibiotics as fast as these bacteria are able to adapt, adapt to them. We'll kind of and what's the deal? There's not point. enough money in antibiotics, so we're not making all these new antibiotics we need, basically, right? That's part of it, sure. And mm -hmm. the other part is that we're not using the antibiotics appropriately. So people get put on stronger antibiotics all the time, and it's kind of like a vaccine. That's how it works on the, on the bugs, that if they get exposed to a strong antibiotic, but it doesn't kill them, sort of like vaccines are our exposure to mm -hmm. something, sure. but it doesn't kill us, right. well, then it figures out how to fight it in the future. So that's right. the problem. Yeah, so it's scary. basically like thinking of it as an antibiotic. But anyway, with this medication, tamoxifen, it is a chemotherapeutic drug. Yeah. It basically looks like estrogen. So the way it fights breast cancer is that if you think about you know, a breast cancer cell is having a lock, like a door, and the estrogen is the key that goes in and kind of turns it on and activates it. Well, what this does is it's like a key that fits in the lock but doesn't work, so it mm. doesn't activate it. It blocks the estrogen. Now, we don't know exactly how that's related to the superbugs, except that maybe it ramps up the immune system so your own immune system actually fights uh, harder. Gotcha. And, and this is preliminary. It's done in animals, not humans yet, but, but it's exciting awesome. stuff. Yeah. Right, now, it's good definitely. news. All right, we're going to go from something... Let's be Superficial. Great importance. <laughs> right, let's get to our waistlines and everything else. All right, a laser <laughs> promising to help get rid of those stubborn pockets of fat. Th these are actually pictures sent from the company that makes the device. It's called Sculpt Sure. It's FDA approved. And uh, tell us how this works. Well, the idea is that this doesn't work on your whole body. It works on areas that are kind of difficult to treat where you have these pockets of fat. Now, the FDA cleared it for use in the flank. That's sort of your love handles area. Uh -huh. But doctors can use it in other areas, perhaps off-label also, to try to manage it. Uh, there are other things that this you can This is my do. exact problem area. <laughs> right <laughs> below this, this belly button nightmare, right below here is where what I want. Where that huge gone. tattoo is that's at a stop. Yes, <laughs> a winger tattoo, right? No, but it's right here. It looks like that's what it's. Well, it could help with that, and it actually, you're, you know, you're in the right category, at least, of patients, because it's not as helpful for people who are obese. It's helpful for people who are already pretty fit, but they're mm -hmm. trying to get a specific pocket. And the benefits are that it works pretty fast, so 6 to 12 weeks in terms of seeing results. And they say, you know, 25 minutes on average for the treatment, as opposed to longer when you use, uh, let's say, other things like freezing the fat. But I just should emphasize as a doctor, you know, this is more cosmetic, right? If you're thinking about losing weight or fat for health purposes, well, diet and exercise are sure. still <laughs> the right. cornerstone. Sometimes you get to that point that we're like, you've done all that, and you're like, I just <laughs> want this going. In other words, he wants to tweak perfection. Exactly. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's, 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 that's it. Exactly, Dari, of course. So, so you say 6 to 12 weeks. I mean, you have to go once a week for 6 to 12? Well, to see the results, it'll take that long. So you don't have to go that often, no. Yeah. I mean, it can and be how done. much how much per visit's that? Well, that's the problem. So the doctors will probably set the price, but the estimate is that it would probably be $1,500 per treatment because the device itself costs $200,000. So uh, I don't know if this is that easy for people to actually uh, do. And uh, also, we have to wait to see how it pans out in the yeah, long term. Yeah, yeah. The price <laughs> will come down on that, hopefully. In the meantime, I'm going to learn yeah. to just wear pullover sweaters and stuff and sort of hide it. Yeah. <laughs> Spanx. Yeah, Spanx. I need to <laughs> nail Spanx. <laughs> Manx. <laughs> nail Spanx. Dr. Debbie, that was good. Thank High and low yes, brow all at the same time. We appreciate it. Well, as much it. as I don't like this area on me either because I have the same problem. You know, diet, All guys exercise, do. This is, yeah, I think it doesn't go away. It no doesn't go what away. I do. It's just still it there. Part away. of it is genetics and just age, I suppose. Yeah. But have you put the ice cream back and the martinis? <laughs> yeah, maybe. You gotta Not treat willing. yourself. You gotta treat yourself. About what but you're willing to But do. at those prices, I'm willing to keep this. Yeah, yeah it ain't that bad. <laughs> All right.